Keep going with your head back. Look up as high as you can. No, it's that's it. That's pain. it. That's it. Pain. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Get the idea. Excuse me. You can't go back. No, I can't go any further. Wow. <laughs> right. So we got problems. <laughs> Wait. That's just. You're doing this. <laughs> My God. Right. In a minute, when we're done, you're going to be able to look up at the ceiling, and I promise you, it's going to be pretty amazing. I've. Never, I don't even think, I don't even remember the last time I could do that. Well, you will in about one hour. A little gentle, bud, I got you. Mm -hmm. Let me have your head. There you go. It's okay. Here we go, bud. Oh. Here we go. Go slow and. <laughs> right? Get the idea? Your neck actually moves now. Oh my god. Right? <laughs> you didn't realize you lost all that. It's okay. <laughs> Let it all go. Deep breath in. Oh, wrong. Give you a second. Give you a second. Breathe. Okay. Oh my god. I feel like something just released in me that hasn't released in like 15 years. That's just the weirdest thing I've ever felt in my life. You did good. You did good. Oh! Oh! your sports back in like high school middle school football sometimes right what I'm saying is you can have injuries and then your body just leans and then they take a picture of you because you're in in an avoidance position and that creates a curve yeah. you can be a little bit rotated if you're not perfectly centered when they're doing that x-ray if you're just a little bit turned that'll create a scoliosis so we call them functional scoliosis or structural I'll examine you in a minute we'll, we'll check all that out but lower back tell me about uh, how long you've been having that since I was a child okay does it just stay in your lower back? Does it go yeah, down the good leg? Good lower back. Good, and sometimes it gets up, up like up here. Okay. In my neck. I think it's mainly strained from fishing. Okay. For the most part, and then any other heavy lifting that I do. Okay. So the nothing goes down the arms or the legs. Just stays uh, in the spine. I mean, not really. I mean, nothing sometimes, goes tingly. Sometimes, occasionally. I'm not sure if it's that, but I do have some tingling a little bit. Will go down my hands. Midday, end of the day, morning, hard to tell. Well, done. Fishing. End of the day. Yeah. You might see like, man, my hands are getting yes. a little tingly. All right. So the the spinal stuff is has to do with the spinal. You know, inflammation is going to be the joints. There's these little knuckles. They look like little handshakes where that mm -hmm. guy connects with that guy. There's a lot of sensation. You'll feel that. You know, like you can point to it. You can go, it's right here. Mm -hmm. It's right here. It's easy to pinpoint joint pain. The knuckles give you pain in an area over top of that joint. So it's um, the joints. When they're under stress, it's highly likely that the, the disc is under stress. And we talked about that a little earlier. The disc is a non-sensitive, non-regenerative structure. So the, the joint regenerates. You can feel it. This you can't. So the health of the disc matters more in terms of the longevity of your spine. When you have discs that get, inf get inflamed or injured, they start putting pressure on the nerve. This nerve then goes down your leg, or in the case of your lower neck, they go down your arm. So you can have inflammation of your lower neck, disc injury, maybe some mild disc bulges that are now putting pressure on the nerves. End of the day means you know, they've been under compression all day long. So healthcare wise, we wanna start aiming your spine to a better position so we don't wait till these things get full blown like cavities and teeth. We don't wanna wait till they're you know, really bad. I also wanna mention that I do spend a lot of time on a computer. I mean, a Gamer? lot. Gamer? Yes. What's your game of choice? Uh, everything, Fortnite, Warzone, pretty much everything. All right, I've yeah, a lot of time. I'm not gonna lie to you. <laughs> <laughs> He's a gamer. Uh, yeah. All right. Well, a lot, of time. a lot of time. So, again, so the seated position takes the curve out of your lower back, and when the curve is out of your back, all the stress goes right down to your lower back. Same thing with your head. The more forward your head goes when you're in that typical gamer position, yeah. The more rounded forward. So. He loves video games. I love video Don't games. Feel I'm, bad. I'm playing a lot. Of, I'm playing a lot of D2R right now. D Diablo 2 Resurrected. And, I've uh, seen that. I mean, way too much. Yeah. And, um, what kind of computer you got? I got a new Asus gamer. I, I have laptops. I I, I got to have supportability. I don't have. Okay. Them. But, uh, <laughs> so don't. You're in good company. I play, you the games I played are like the old school, like OG Quake 2, Half Life, the originals, Any Counter rest? Strike. What is it? Counter Strike. Oh, the original oh. Counter Strike. I grew up. I was like, I had LAN parties in my garage. I played all of that. 
CSGO. I mean, I played the first gen of Counter-Strike 2, but I mean, mainly CSGO. Oh, yeah. Well, CSGO, I was, already, yeah, I was already too old for that. You know, uh, Never too old. Quake 2, <laughs> CTF, uh, a lot of StarCraft 1. StarCraft 2, I was already... There's some old games. <laughs> I'm OG, man. All right, I'm like 37. <laughs> like, you got to go back to... I had, I had a... We back to we had three accelerators, like the Voodoo 2 3D accelerators. Mm -hmm. Anyway, let's not go there. Look straight forward. Okay, so we're dealing with about an inch, inch and a half heads forward from your shoulder. The middle of your ear hole should be over the center of your shoulder, and the more forward your head goes from your shoulder, the more tension and inflammation and stress and mm -hmm. tightness you're going to feel. Sort of, even, even breathing. So push your head forward. Try to take a deep breath in. All right, now push your head back. Take a deep breath in. A lot easier to breathe even yeah. with your head. <laughs> yeah. So one of the most common things as you age, people are like, you know, as, as people's posture gets more and more forward, I can't breathe. Part of that is you're stuck forward. Because the back part of the spine has a lot of feeling, that's why people are avoiding it. And that's the beginnings. At 20, it's more of a, this is a, we're catching it on the early side and want to teach you some things about not just living your life based on how it feels. It might not feel as good to be upright, but we need to be upright for long term. Yeah. So I'm not seeing, sometimes on scoliosis you'll see one shoulder blade is more raised up. I'm really not seeing that, good. Uh, like on me, <laughs> on my, own, my own back. Like oh, even on my ribs on the front, do you feel like your ribs, one sticks out more on the front? No. Yeah, so uh, <laughs> look, look up at the ceiling for me. Any pain when you do that? Uh, it's like tension. It's yeah. tension, yeah. pressure in your lower neck? Yes. Okay. Keep going with your head back. Look up as high as you can. No, it's that's it. That's pain. it. That's it. Pain. Yeah. Oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> Get the idea. Excuse me. You can't go back. No, I can't go any further. Wow. <laughs> right. So we got problems. <laughs> Wait. That's just. You're doing this. <laughs> My God. Right. <laughs> Your range of motion. So that each joint has to give a little bit. Right. You see how the. Yeah. See, this joint has to overlap with that. So you're, 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 you're closing the joint to there, and you're like, that's all I can do. <laughs> and then this guy's going to there. It's okay. Again, <laughs> here's what's happening. I don't want you to do it. And part of why I don't do a ton of orthopedic testing is because when you're doing this, you're doing it all with your lower neck. So every time when you bring your head back, your lower neck is bending too much. If your upper neck was bending, you'd be able to do it. In a minute when we're done, you're going to be able to look up at the ceiling, and I promise you it's going to be pretty amazing. I've never, I don't even think, I don't even remember the last time I could do that. You will in about one hour. I was looking at how your neck was folding when I was behind you, and all the folding in your skin is happening right here. There's no folding. Watch, see how my neck, it folds yeah. at the top? Because all of them are all working. It's like a team, okay. right? <laughs> You don't have your whole team of seven vertebrae working. You only have three of them working, and you're like, why can't I do it all? Because you don't have your whole team working. If we get your whole team back functioning, your range of motion... You'll be able to look at the ceiling. Yes. It's going to be pretty easy to restore a 20-year-old's range of motion versus a 70-year-old's range of motion okay. where everything's locked down and hardened. All we got to do is go in there, adjust them. Now, taking something that's been... It's like you're, at, you're bending your finger like, that's... <laughs> No, I can. You're seeing me do that, and you're like that. I can't. So somebody's got. We got to sit there and rub. It's like what you said earlier. Right. We got. But we're gonna. We're gonna make that joint close. And you go. Wow, Ed. You're right. Now I can close all my joints. It doesn't hurt anymore. I, now what's happening is it's pain. Again, that orthopedic stuff. When you're. And that's not good. That's actually not good. That we're. You know, we're, we use orthopedic tests to figure out what's wrong with you. I already know what's wrong with you. But my point is that we do the orthopedic test to help show a doctor or the patient what's wrong. When you're bringing your head back, it's hurting because you're making your lower neck try to do too much because another part of your neck isn't doing anything. Okay. And so I would make an argument you shouldn't be even looking up until we first get your whole spine working because you're going to hypermobilize and strain it. Strain, right, yeah, yeah. your lower neck. So let's not do that. Let's okay. first no get more your looking. <laughs> in a minute. We'll get okay. it working. Okay. Cross his arm under over. Bend both the knees. Okay. Head back for a bit. Exhale. Let it all go. Keep pressure. Oh, wrong. Give you a second. Give you a second. Breathe. Okay. Oh my God. All right. I got you. Excellent. All right. One more. Excellent. You did good. You did good. All right. Oh my God. 
You okay, bud? Yeah, so I'm those fine. were joints. Those were joints that haven't worked. Oh you know my saying? god! Now even if right now if we, I, I'm gonna, we're gonna get it better than that. I just got about a 50. Like if we stood you up right now, you'd be able to bend back easier now that I've got all that working. I want to do more than even that. We're gonna massage it, and we're gonna okay. do it again. I feel like something just released in me that hasn't released in like 15 years. That's <laughs> the weirdest thing I've ever felt in my life. There we go. I got you, brother. It's okay. Everybody, everybody walks out. Deep breath in. Just rotate. Exhale. Look over the shoulder. Right. There you go. Exhale. All right, breathe. Exhale. It's okay. Everybody walks away. There we go. Oh. 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 <laughs> All right. Other side, you did good. Other side. <laughs> now I'm a believer, not a trace. Bottom leg straight. There we go. It's poor, poor joints haven't moved before. <laughs> your, your potential is actually higher than mine. He should be kicking my butt. You know, I'm, I'm the old fogey here now. Deep breath in. Exhale. Mm -hmm. There we go. Good. Good. Very good. Okay. Exhale. Oh. <laughs> oh my God. It's better to learn at 20 than to wait till it's busted at 45. Yeah. And now what are we going to do? Now I'm just trying to pick up the pieces and help the person make it to 80 without back surgery. Let's not go there. Yeah, you just tight up here. Everything just yeah, at all. You got all this tension. This is what I meant by. See, you're trying to do everything with this. See, I'm. I'm not. Sure, it's hard to see as a patient. When I was working on David, I left his lower neck completely alone. I didn't go down here and rub the lower neck. See how soft it is down here. Yeah. It feels way better. <laughs> right, right, because it's loose. This is all loose. This is what you're trying to get everything done with this. I'm gonna leave that alone. I have no interest in it. Oh, real gentle, bud. I got you. Mm -hmm. Let me have your head. There you go. It's okay. Here we go, bud. Oh. There we go. All right. All right, here we go. Here we go. Turn it right. I got you, bud. Let me have your head. I got you. Mm -hmm. It's okay. There you go. You're doing great. There we go. We, there are 24 vertebrae. We actually gave names to two of them. Two of the vertebrae. The other 22 do not have names. <laughs> we, other than like lumbar 5, lumbar 4, right? There's the first two in the upper neck. The first and second, called cervical one and cervical two, are called atlas and axis. We gave them names because they're very important. <laughs> the other vertebrae are a lot less important than these top two guys because these top two vertebrae do a exponential amount of work relative to the other vertebrae. And if you don't have your atlas and axis working properly, you're going to abuse the lower neck, C7, C6, which is where you were hurting when you were looking up you were asking your lower neck to try to do everything, which it's not really even supposed to do much, let alone it's only supposed to do it after your upper neck has fully been expended. So get the idea up here is where your neck is supposed to bend. And Ed, yeah, I don't, think I, don't, I don't think I bend up here. Mm. Okay. Not trying to Linda Blair, if you even know who, you know, from The Exorcist, the girl that spins her head around. I'm not asking, <laughs> you, to Linda, not asking you to Linda Blair your neck, okay? It's, just asking for the normal range of motion that your neck is supposed to be able to provide. All right, but yeah, right there, it's way too, way too tight. All right, we'll come back to it. Just gotta get your upper neck working the way it's supposed to. Your neck is supposed to be way back here. Let me show you. Really? Yeah. <laughs> yep. Yes, yes, really. <laughs> yep. <laughs> we call this the natural cervical lordosis. That don't feel natural. Correct, <laughs> because it is a natural for you. I gotta get this. Like it's just feel that. Just hello. <laughs> You're all jammed up here, right there. Oh, man. And you're still six years before full skeletal maturity is 26. So huh. it's more difficult to change someone's posture after 26 because all the clay has become hardened. Like the cement has now fully hardened. And so it's harder to reshape things. So it's much easier to restore you and even teach you how to stretch versus at 30, it becomes more difficult. Um, it's why, again, it's why I adjust kids and why we adjust, you know, we don't wait for people to have problems before we have care. This is why we call it health care. <laughs> and the more you hang out with me, the more what will happen is it's like, I think a car. When my car was dirty, I didn't notice when it got dirtier. <laughs> But when I clean my car, I notice when it got dirty very quickly, <laughs> right? Your car's dirty and it just gets dirtier and you're like, well, that's fine. <laughs> like, no, it's filthy, <laughs> right? Now I'm gonna clean it for you and here you go, whoa. 
you know, I've seen all these videos and I, I didn't really believe it, but now that you're, <laughs> yeah, doing it, it's like, like, I see how you can do it, like restore these joints. They're just knuckles. And they take time, you have to compress the fluid out. And we just keep massaging the joint, it's just a knuckle. And then tomorrow morning, oh my gosh, Ed, my upper neck was so sore. Yeah, it's probably not going, <laughs> it's been frozen for a couple of years. It's not going to like me going in there and poking around and, And then, like I said, somebody, you know, go to another chiropractor one day, leave the lower neck alone. Don't go have people, you know, leaving that, poking around the lower neck. Leave the lower neck alone. Mm -hmm. Stay up here off the occiput, upper neck. Yeah, yeah. It's just... So this is the comb. The Chinese came up with this about a thousand years ago to help speed up the process of healing, or the word replacement, blood flow in, waste out. Yeah. It's just a comb. Same thing, idea as the cupping. It's just a way to help expedite. Releases the toxins. There you go, you got it. Just another way to speed up this process. You didn't have Dr. Bo, it's not your fault. I, I didn't choose my father. I didn't choose to have a chiropractor as a father. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Welcome to Earth, your dad's a chiropractor. I thought everybody had a chiropractor as a father. <laughs> I was a homeschooled chiro kid. I, you know, you don't... When I fell off a trampoline, I got adjusted right away, right? When you fell off a tramp trampoline, it was like, good luck, kid, uh, walk it off. <laughs> Falling off a couple trampolines. But you see my point? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I healed being adjusted. Yeah. You healed on the couch watching, you know, <laughs> TV. Go, real gentle. There you go. You got it. You got it. Oh. Yeah. So the first adjustment, you were way out here. I first adjusted you to here. <laughs> the second was it's the same joint moving to two levels. Um, like a baseball field. You're out there on the warning track <laughs> and you're trying to throw to home plate. Good luck. <laughs> It's a long throw, right? So I'm trying to walk you to the infield. Can we move to second base so we can make an easy throw to home plate? You know, the, the distance was so far that I'm having to do it in like two, like a relay in the baseball, right? You throw it to like the cutoff man and then he throws it to home plate. We're doing like two throws here. Okay. All right. Here we go, bud. Same thing. Here we go. There we go. I got you, bud. There we go. Let it go. There we go. Good. Mm. All right, very good. We'll check it out now if you want. Go ahead and stand up for me. Let's feel it. Let's see. Can you stand up for me. Go slow and. <laughs> right? Get the idea? Your neck actually moves now. Right? Oh my god. Right? <laughs> you didn't realize you lost all that. It's okay. <laughs> it's tough. It's tough. That's crazy. <laughs> yeah, I'm not seeing scoliosis. Good. Nope. Nope, I'm just seeing uh, injury and avoidance is what I'm seeing. Uh, you know, things have happened, life's happened, and I just I healed in a position that was comfortable, and that might create a laterality. I'm not denying that you might see a lateral curvature, but it's more what we call functional. It's happened because there's been pain, and your body tilts away from it. It goes away just as easily as it arrived. As the body no longer needs to avoid, it'll straighten it back out. Um, my dad's got a my dad's got a yellow fin and the tower on the boat is like probably 20 30 feet in the air okay i'm washing the tower i slip i fall and i hit the side of the gunnel with the side of my ribs and then i fell in <laughs> side here yeah uh-huh how long ago was that oh a while ago i was I, just saying like that right that's my that's my point injury yeah <laughs> something smacked me hard and my body leans away from it now, if I take a picture of you, you're going to see a curve. I've got scars all over me. <laughs> well, that's part of what I'm feeling when I work on your chest here. Is like I said, these are the result of that type of injury is your back expects it to happen again, and so it locks things down, expecting mm -hmm. you to fall another 15 feet again. Tighten so it up, right? Permanently. Okay. Permanently, and it's a good thing for that tightness to be there if you're going to fall again. Yeah. It isn't good if you want to make it to 80. <laughs> so you got to decide what you want to do. You know, I have to sort of tell your back, he's not going to fall again, even he, though I don't know if you are or not. To. But He's I, going to fall again. Well, it's because this won't make it. If this remains stiff, then you're going to try to do everything with this, and then this is going to be done by 40. Yeah, so, so it needs to happen either way. We have to, to we have to tell your middle back, we're, we're sorry he fell. <laughs> we're sorry that happened. We're sorry he injured you really bad, but you're not allowed to quit. If David came back. 
Okay. You're obviously doing something right. Okay. <laughs> yeah, so I'm sure I'll come back. All right, but we'll get it. We'll get it. We'll just, like I said, my goal is to be air traffic controller. My goal, my goal is to give you some tools and, and start teaching you how to brush your own teeth. You know, it's not supposed to be three times a week the rest of your life in here. The goal is to give people tools. Right, that probably that probably warranted the X-ray. When they took the X-ray, it was probably after an injury. And you probably were in pain. Or... The X-ray was when I broke my arm and my leg. Uh -huh, uh -huh. <laughs> right. And so whatever force that went in to break your arm and your leg went into your back also. How did you break your? Got hit by a car <gasps> on a bike. Oh. Oh. Poor guy. <laughs> well, I've had a lot of things happen. To me. Storing the motion in here, we're gonna get all this part of your back. Same thing I was doing to your upper neck, I'm doing to your middle back here, just coercing it. I can't assume anything I say or do has any foundation, like, oh yeah, Ed, people have been doing this to me my whole life, or <laughs> you know, I've been trained to have my back rub like this. No, Ed, you're the first person to ever do this. First person. You know, so it's sure. it's like the first time you had your teeth clean kind of idea. It's like, oh boy, <laughs> there's plaque. Gotta clean all this off. All right. Right there, yep. Right. So part of it is guarding. The area, the muscles have permanently stayed in spasms, or we call them trigger points, or you know, focal areas of spasms, because they're they're guarding an area underneath that was injured a while ago. So this is why massaging someone seated is a little silly to me <laughs> because sometimes the muscles are tight because of bad posture. So how can I tell the difference between a muscle that's tight from bad posture or a muscle that's tight from guarding? And the answer is you can't. You have to lay the person down, take posture out of the equation, and now everything that's tight is tight because it's guarding something inside that was injured. So this is all right here. All of that is something that happened. <laughs> you know, you got, your car got dented and then it healed with gristle. The car dented me. Yeah. And this is like crunchy, fluidy. What? Like right here. It's all yeah, I feel like it. Like a water balloon's in there. Yeah. It's okay. These are, these are traumas. We'll get about 50% of this gone today. We'll get about That's crazy. It's, yeah. That's my left hand, left arm. I don't ever mm -hmm. use that arm. Mm -hmm. Well, part of it might be that, you know, you have an injury and your body says, okay, I'll use the other side now. <laughs> <laughs> right? So we, it's what we call the compensatory pains you have you injure the left side you break your left ankle and then you just hop around your right ankle for a decade and you're like now my right ankle is killing me it's like well, that's just because you're avoiding your left ankle so one side has an old injury and then the other side then gets overstressed put this behind you back again there we go Good. lovely Ed okay I find everything I've never been able to hide anything from my car mechanic so there's two on both sides, but there's no like there's one not here, and then there's one on the other side. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. there's no. But this is all fluid. This is more fluid. All right. Like some bubble wrap. Around. Oh yes. <laughs> let your shoulder go. I got you. There you go. There you go. There you go. There you go. Yeah, let this one go right there. There it is. It's time for an eviction. I'm gonna evict all this. Yeah, okay, all right, come on with it. The amount of force that went into your arm to break your arm also went into your back, into your shoulder. That's here. nice. And this is not enough to break anything, you understand? But it, <laughs> yeah, it, it, but it jammed it. it, it jammed it, it sprained it, let's call it.
It's like watching him paint. On someone's back. Just a piece. <laughs> That. Yep, I know, I feel it. Right there. Marvel. Put your arm back down. <laughs> okay. But yes. Okay. Good, good, good. Here you go, breathe. Mm -hmm. Come on, bud. It's okay, I got you. I'm not gonna hurt you, bud. Come on. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Good. Good. Good, okay, bud. All right. Extra. <laughs> Some extra guys that I missed earlier. Last one. Okay, all right, I'm done. I'm done. See how it feels. Bend back, just arch back gently. Yeah. Yeah. So you can go back too far. Right? Get the idea? It's just, you know, just range of motion. You just, you need your whole team working. It's tough, it's tough. Look straight forward, you got it, bud. I got you, bud. Oh, go ahead. <laughs> tilt your head to the right for me a little bit, bud. I got you, bud. All right, it's okay. Go ahead and tilt right for me. Okay, it's good. All right, I got you. Tilt your head to the right. Okay, no. a little bit. All right, go ahead and tilt your head left. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Tilt your head left for me. All right. Oh. Let's see if I can get him. Oh, she did. <laughs> All right. Let's see. That is jammed. All right. Hold yourself on the table a little bit. Yeah, be careful. There it is. Yep. 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 <laughs> too much? Okay. Lift your, lift your head up. See if we take this out. All right. Breathe. The idea is to stay in a position for about one minute, and then you're moving around. So let's try to. You're going to move downwards. So you're going to let it go back up your back. So roll this way. Get the idea? And yeah. breathe. We want your back to harden in the right position. So after you've been loosened up on the table, we want you to not just go back. Go right back to being long-term bent forward. We want your back back to sort of harden and re-solidify in the right position. When I tried to do this on David's, I couldn't. Right. Before. Well, because I got you all loosened up. <laughs> you understand? That's the whole point of why I have a job, <laughs> is that you have to be prepped and now Today you'll be fine, tomorrow will be fine, but what my point is at some arbitrary, a week, a month from now, your back will go back to an old habit. Like, like if you smoked for years and then I took away the cigarettes and then your body gets back to, wants to go back to an old habit. It takes time for your back to create a new habit, which is to, be, to stay mobile, to be aligned properly. Again, if it was easy, I wouldn't have a job. <laughs> it takes some level of guidance. Just roll to your side and do a side push up, and you're all set, bud. A side push up. So rest of your life, yeah. Roll to your side, side push up. You come up. From, that makes sense. Unless yeah. you're unless you're trying to impress people, you know, it just it costs too much to try. <laughs> yeah. It just it 
So you roll to your side. You know, get up like that. It's just easier on your back. I'm feeling little cracks every now and then when I'm moving. <laughs> what parts of your back that have been frozen now are, you know, functioning? And I feel the heat. <sighs> I feel the heat. <laughs> you did great, bud. All right, bud.